Thank you, Manet TV. If not in Manet TV, ah, this is the Manet TV that exposes people that preach and teach for the sake of pounds, dollar, and naira. Because if it is salvation of soul, we all preach. You know this is salvation. Hey, look at <laughs> unless you are very strong in the law so much, and God has, I mean, let me tell you, come on, sit down. If they if they see me with you, going with you, immediately you go back home. Million people will come and tell you that that man is not good. Unless God is with you. Where you are going, and they see you with me, where you go back. Million people will come and meet you and tell you that man you are moving with is not good. Though. So this is what the problem many people are facing. Unless you are very too strong. And why? Because they know what they are getting from you has stopped. When you move with me, I don't see what can you give me. I don't need anything from you. If you are the richest in the world, I don't need anything from you. You will need from me more than I need from you. <laughs> you know the reason? I am so... Look at the message I preached today. That content himself with fewer ones than those other men. The little I have, this one was given to me. This shoe was given to me. I had three long of it. I don't know. If I say, God, I need something, I don't need to sweat before getting it. I don't need anything from you, brother. So all I need from you, you, I need from you, I want you to live for God. That is my joy. So now, I will not prophesy for you because I won't need money from you. And I will not pray for you because I need money from you. I will not hear you because I need from money. What will you give me? Even when it is time to raise offering and thanksgiving, I, don't, I, I, I normally leave it for the children. I don't mention it. If you know my life, I don't mention it because... You cannot see me mentioning. I would tell her, okay, yo, I leave. But I don't know. So because, you see, I don't know what is what. Because I know the repercussion of taking something from you. The repercussion is everything that from you, if whatever I take from you is not from good source, I'll be a partaker of that punishment. Let me tell you, the repercussion of receiving something from people, I know it clear. That's why I always careful. Let me tell you the repercussion. Everything I will receive from you, if I receive anything I receive from you, unless the source of the thing you are giving me is good, if the source is questionable, I will, I will receive more punishment than you that give me. So therefore, I'm always very careful of what I receive from people because of the what... Ah, no, 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 no. I pray we ministers of God will understand the, the war received from member. If we, may, if we pastors, ministers of God, if we understand the, what it means to receive a possession of money financial assistance, this and that, from member, they will be always very careful from receiving things from people. Because the repercussion is great. If you give me 20 million naira, that 20 million naira, if any of a cobble, a pounds, a, a pounds, come from wrong source, maybe Whichever way you, you receive, you got that money and you give me, the punishment I will receive it will be greater than you that gave me because I'm supposed to be your teacher. You are living in ignorance, but God will never see me living in ignorance because I have His word. Well. 
So I'm just telling you the secret why I'm only careful. When it is time to give me, even sometime when you want to give me something, you, I, I will not want to even know when you are giving me. Oh my God, I pray. Not you, member, we pastor. I pray we understand the meaning of receiving this offering you are raising. They say, offering your offering, you raise it all, which I don't know where you are bringing this money from. <laughs> Many of you, I don't know where you come from. Many of you, actually, today week, two weeks ago, we call a hallo, a, a prostitute. You were in the service here when a prostitute from the from the gallery was called out. I said, also drop money now. Where 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 did you get that money? And so I will now use the same money to chop. <laughs> hey, my God. Okay, look at my brother that is want to come out now. Last Sunday he dropped money. Before he was prophesying for, before he was picked out. The brother will show the video now, at least during the Thanksgiving, he dropped money. So okay, I will not use the money to buy suit, to buy suit, to buy this, to buy, oh my God. So it affects our life positively and negatively. But today, now there is economic depression. Where will you get that, that very neat money? People say, hey, 100 million, 300 million, drop it. People begin to rain money in the church. I say, oh, my God. Cause, 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 cause. You listen to our brother that confessed here that when he put money in the, the offering, what happened? Eh? Initiate people. So what we do here, the money you drop will return back to you. It will not go direct to you, but it will go to your family. People that are waiting to collect money you will drop today are uh, somewhere. Before next Sunday, we give it. We don't want it to stay in our, in our domain. And we sleep with such a money. As you drop it, we give it. And you saw people from Libya. You saw people from Libya. During the week, a lot of people, lot, 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 we have to give it. It's not something we should. When you give it, we give it out. Because you are telling us that it, when you give me, you are telling me that instead of me to give it to the needy over there, I'm giving you man of God to help me give it to the needy. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, instead of me to give it to the needy, so, man of God, I'm giving you to help me give it to the needy. That is what we are telling every pastors. You give. Every minister of God, you give a gift to. You are indirectly telling them that instead of me to walk towards the needy and give the needy, I'm giving you to give it to the needy. You will do better. You will give it better. You know the right needy to give it to because you are being used by God. You will examine the needy. You will examine the right people to give it to. You will be the spirit of discernment. You will be able to identify the right people. Because through you, you will give it to wrong people. You will look at the sympathy, the emotion. People crying to you and need money, whereas it doesn't need money. People that need money, that are somewhere. But people will not run to me and say they need money, whereas they don't need money. I know the people. When you run to me that you need money, I know you, I know you don't need it. I know the right people that need it. So you are giving me to give it to people that really need it. Because you, are, you, you, you want to give it to the right people. That's why you give it to pastor to help you give it to the right people. Why should any pastor now? I mean. So you are not supposed to fear of giving your money. Pastor supposed to fear to collect money from you. Tell your neighbor, you are not supposed to be fear to give money to pastor. Pastor himself supposed to be fear in collecting money from you. Tell your
your neighbor once again. Don't be afraid in giving your money to pastor. Pastor should be afraid in collecting money from you. Tell the viewer at home, viewers, don't be afraid of giving your money to pastor. Pastor should be afraid in collecting money from you. Because pastor is the one sitting in the church. But you. Kaya, 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 kaya. When you leave here today, <laughs> your journey is far. <laughs> eh? Your journey is far. When you gather 10,000 naira, each, each of this uh, paper comes from different directions. So you now gather them. The one that comes from A, the one that comes from B, the one that comes from C, from D. You now gather the whole thing and give it to one man. If blessing is A, you give blessing to the man. If it is cost, is B, you give cost to the man. If C is a hardship, you give hardship to the man. You may be seated. So, please, this is just the situation. This is just the situation. The one having the divine spirit that come from above is meek, peaceable, and humble. No matter the money, get, they know the value of money. The real pastor, the real minister of God, the real prophet know the value of money. The value of money is not to, I mean, to live in lustrous so let's so please i'm sorry i will not be able to see the lady i'll be calling that after living here is probably going back to the hotel so what for if you this is, can you see, we men of God, we have to be in spirit, please. If not, you don't know the people you collect offering from. Where does this offering come from? Imagine somebody go to a hotel and it's a harlot, it's a prostitute, and do the prostitution come from a hotel and you are asking for money and he put that money down. Would that money prosper the ministers of God? Would that money prosper the church? So that is why we men are going to be very careful. Somebody who is worship coming to your church to worship, you don't know where they come from. It's coming from hotel, it's a harlot, it's a professional harlot. And that is what he's doing to leave. And he will come and bring the money. When you ask for, for, uh, for offering tight, he will raise it up. And he will give you ministers of God. What would such money, such money do for the ministers? It will destroy you and destroy the church. Or a robber, an armed robber that come to worship and carry money, blood money. And you are asking for money, 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 money. And they will give you money. You have received the blood money. And it will destroy you and destroy your career. Can you see? This lady, I said, you are living here, go back to the hotel, doing prostitution, getting money and this is what you are doing to live with there is another woman there you cook your menstruation for your husband and it's a serious thing you are there come out you just come out this time you know this is trouble in your home. The thing bounces back. Come back, come out, come out. As a result of looking for peace.
Come out, I'm looking at you. Come, ignorantly. Now you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but you need deliverance. Let's hear from the, this boy. Qui a cuisiné avec euh, ses menstruations pour son mari pour avoir la paix, mais en même temps cela. The light is complexion. I'm looking at you. Please come out because it will deliver your husband and deliver you as well and restore your marriage because your marriage is is in church mess. Man of God, I'm the one that you have been talking of concerning the arm robbery you are talking about. Speak louder. I am the person that you were speaking about. That I have been stealing, trying to stop it, no way. I have been destroying, handling, gone. But Look, I simple. Been... That you are an arm robber. Yes, you? sir. Yes, <laughs> stealing is different from arm robber. Uh huh. But you are trying to stop it, no way. No way, sir. I'm that spirit is in you. It's in me, sir. And the, there is, you have so many blood in your hand. I'm praying for you to deliver me, man. Uh -huh. me, sir. Imagine if you come here today and we watch you, watch you, watch you. Imagine, and I'm stretching my hand to collect money from you. I'm destroying my life, destroying the church. I'm preaching this to the ministers of God all over the world. Money in the house of God is a delicate issue. What tell your neighbor? What what did I say? When ten people come to watch you, do you know where they come from? Yeah, you come bring your money, 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 money. Tie it book. It will destroy you and destroy your career and destroy the church. Can you see the two figures I'm talking about? Money in the house of God. You will see, I have been standing here since morning. I'm always, you can't hear money from my mouth. But biblically, from your heart, over to you. I escaped this. Be careful of this because of the worshiper. Where are they coming from? Money in the house of God. If you see a man of God that is interested in collecting money, 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 the end are, are not going to be good. See the people come into the church for salvation of their soul, and many of them they are yet to be delivered. And such money are blood money. Somebody from the hotel is a pro professional prostitute, prostitute, collecting money and give you. An arm robber collecting money for times people give you. Where okay, wave your hand, wave your hand. Where's your husband? Do you, do you know there is one mass here? Yes. Reckless life that trades, you trade yourself. Yes, man of God. That is a form of harlot. Yes, man of God. You know, for a man of God to be saying, hey, to this the lady like you know, I, I wear his label and all that. So, how can you identify people like this among the people? Hmm? Okay? So, this is why I say, collecting money that is not from the heart. It will destroy your career at the end of your of your days. Money from a sister that when you are saying offering, 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 you carry offering, you collect it from, you put it to you spend it for yourself. Collecting money from the harlot. What does that do to man of God? It will destroy man of God. 
So that is why money collecting in the church is a very delicate and sensitive thing. Because this is the kind of people God sent us to deliver, not to rape. If it's not the power of vision now, how will I identify him? He will give me money. What kind of that kind of money? What can that kind of money do with the Holy Spirit in my life? It will affect it negatively. So can you see? Vision, part of prophecy, is very important in the church because the Bible says, "Where there is no vision, is that not the meaning?" This the meaning. They say, "Where there is no vision, people perish." Where, where we cannot see what will happen next. Who is before you? Who, whom are you praying for? Is dangerous. I can. This one now. I wanted to pray for him, but I'm, I'm shocked. Come, come here.